breaking news in the murder trial of a man accused of killing a protester during the 2016 riots in Uptown Charlotte. The defense now calling for a mistrial in this case against Raekwon Borum. That's after we learned Borum allegedly made a phone call from behind bars threatening the judge in this case. NBC Charlotte's Richard Devane has been following this trial since the beginning. And Richard, this is a surprise twist that kind of makes you scratch your head a bit. Yeah, scratch your head, and we learned that the judge was also very scared when he heard this information. Uh, they had an, uh, a witness on the stand earlier who actually pointed out Raekwon Borum as the person who shot and killed Justin Carr, and then we had a brief uh, delay, and then that delay lasted and lasted some two and a half hours. Then around 3 o'clock, we found out the reason why. FBI as well as Mecklenburg County Sheriff's investigators all looking into the fact that Raekwon Borum, the person who's on trial for murdering somebody, actually made a call from the Mecklenburg County Detention Center, which is right across the street, threatening the life of the judge. Tensions on high in and around courtroom 5370 for the Raekwon Borum murder trial. Extra deputies around Judge Gregory Hayes. This after the discovery of a phone call made on the 20th of this month. The Sheriff's Department says the call was made by Raquan Borum using another inmate's pen. The call made to Borum's mother. In it, we heard a man spell out Judge Hayes' name and then say, I need you to get the people in Florida, which was perceived by all as a threat against the judge. So much, in fact, that extra security was visible in the areas in and around the courtroom. Then the defense team raised two motions, the first to have the judge declare a mistrial. That there will be no air of impartiality here. The second to have Judge Hayes recuse himself from hearing this case. The motion for mistrial based on the defendant's intentional conduct and the case law provided is denied. Yeah, so we can tell you that basically the judge denied a mistrial. He said there will not be a mistrial in this case. He also said as far as him recusing himself, he's going to put that before the Superior, the superior Court judge, Judge Bob Bell. That'll be heard on a Friday morning. Thursday, there was a schedule to not have court in this case. So Friday morning, there will be a hearing to see if Judge Hayes will recuse himself. That'll go before Judge Bell. Of course, we'll have every detail and updates as they become available. But for now, right outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, Richard Devane, we're going to send it back to you.